Alpha-monosidosis is a rare genetic disease caused by a lysosomal deposit. It is initially diagnosed through blood or urine oligosaccharide screening and thereafter requires an enzyme study and, if possible, genetic confirmation. Nonetheless, this disease must be considered through the characterization of the typical clinical signs and symptoms. Professionals involved in the diagnosis of this disease need to be able to detect it as early as possible. To do so, a committee of international experts has to come together to agree on the most specific clinical signs and symptoms. To do so, two algorithms have been established, one for pediatric age, or children under 10 years old, and another for older ones, or adult patients. In pediatric patients, the typical symptom is a delay in reaching development milestones associated fundamentally with a hearing disability and a speech delay, certain skeletal anomalies involving the facies, or recurring infections. Nonetheless, in older or adult patients, what we see is a cognitive or motor neurological regression, frequently associated with psychiatric events, including acute psychotic episodes. It is therefore important at this stage to investigate personal medical history to see which clinical characteristics were seen during the childhood of these patients. Any patient suspected of having a lysosomal disease and, if possible, alpha-monosidosis should be referred to a specialized center with the capacity to perform initial blood or urine oligosaccharide screening and, thereafter, either an enzyme study or, if possible, molecular testing to confirm the disease. Alpha-monosidosis is an ultra-rare disease with an approximate incidence of one case per million inhabitants. However, it is probably underdiagnosed. Therefore, the development of this algorithm gives the various healthcare and education professionals a tool that allows them to consider this disease and support its early diagnosis, particularly in children under two years old and then to be able to offer them therapy as early as possible and accordingly improve the prognosis in these patients by limiting disease progression.